In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the autocomplete polygon tool. In a case in which um, you need to create, using heads up digitizing, polygons that have boundaries that touch each other, this is the um, best way to do that. If you try to, to heads up digitize individual polygons, um, you would end up double digitizing the boundaries between two polygons and it's almost certain that those boundaries won't be completely matching and that they'll create overlaps, gaps, and slivers between the two polygons which is sloppy and leads to um, issues um, further on in your analysis. The way to get around that is to use something called the autocomplete polygon tool. So what I have here is a study area I have an empty shape file that has no attributes in it called demo. And what I'm going to do is, um, as in the, and this, these steps are listed in the previous video, um, I'm going to start editing and specify demo and continue editing. Um, I may have to go to the editor toolbar and ask for the create features wind window. And select demo and I'm going to start this process off by selecting the polygon tool and digitizing a polygon um, that only vaguely matches the uh, actual boundaries of a uh, land area. Um, Notice what I've done here is I did not pay any attention to my study area boundary. I did not try to clip or snap um, here. It is much more efficient to create the land areas that touch or are included inside the study area and ignore the boundaries, though, creating the polygons and later on do a clip process to, uh, to trim at the boundaries. That's much easier and much more accurate. So that's what we'll do. Now I'd like to demonstrate the autocomplete polygon tool by going to my construction tools area, asking for autocomplete polygon, and create. I'd like to create um, a polygon for this area, which has a shared boundary right here. And uh, in order to use the autocomplete polygon tool, first you click inside an existing polygon, go to the point where the new polygon and the existing polygon um, boundaries intersect, the edge of the intersection, click there, and then continue to define the new polygon. And then at the end, go back into the existing polygon, double click, and there'll be a perfectly seamless matching polygon auto-completed and that's a perfect boundary but shared boundary between the two. The autocomplete polygon even lets you do autocomplete against multiple existing polygons such as if I want this chunk in here I can start in this polygon um, go to the edge continue my digitizing as I wish and come back into this polygon and it creates a perfect seamless um, match of this new polygon with all the existing polygons. Thank you.